I've been trying to get us back to where we used to be. You keep lying. Damn, you just like living dangerously. I hate when you get me fired up. Relationship used to be fire. You used to call our lab. So in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this unit that I am rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, Diva, so before we jump right into the video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is being brought to you guys by sansbeauty.com. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, Diva, so let's jump right in. Today we have this style by Vivica A. Fox. It's called Cap Do BLK, and I have her in the color number 1B. So here's how she looks. So she's literally had hair. So this is the texture. It has a beautiful yakky like Brazilian texture. And here is the inside of the cap. The cap is average head friendly, meaning that it will fit large and small heads. If you have a larger head like me, it will fit snug, but not to the point where it'll give you a headache. So this is what it looks like straight onto my head. I do need to do my edges because it does not provide full coverage. On me, this unit falls at about 20 inches and I am 5'2 in case you want to use that for reference. And I'm just showing you guys the texture up close. It's really soft. As far as shedding and tangling, I did receive a little bit of shedding as well as a little bit of tangling. But once you brush it out, it is okay. Okay. Okay, Diva. So I am gonna show you guys another unit. Um, it's basically the same one as this, but the other one is the body wave pattern. But I wanted to tell you guys like individually how I feel about each one of them, rather than kind of like speeding through it. I do want to show you guys the cap construction and everything, of course. But I just wanted to take my time since this is a tool one. So for this one, let's go ahead and start off with the pros. So the pros for this one for me is that the hair is super soft. I love it. It does not like tangle up and mat up. I was expecting it to do that, especially when I seen that it was a yakky texture, but it definitely doesn't do that. And it also looks very natural. Like it looks like Brazilian hair that you just have on and you didn't feel like doing your front tour or something and you just do on your cap. So I really like it um this particular hat style I don't normally um it's it seems like it's longer here I don't know if it's just me but it does seem like it's longer here but it does not look bad like as you guys can see like it doesn't look super bad so I don't mind it so much so I really do just love the overall style the texture of the hair I didn't experience much shedding I did experience some and I did experience a little bit of tangling at first but now that I have brushed out the hair I am like it's going smooth and another pro of course is that it's super convenient so because that is the whole point of this unit so let's go ahead and talk about the cons so the cons for me is that I mainly have to wear this unit like this just because of the simple fact like I just have to wear it um like to the back because it does not give me like much coverage oh I don't want to blame with the lighting but it does not give me much coverage if I wear it to the front now I am wearing it to the front for the video purposes of course but usually like if I'm running errands or something I don't want my hair up here anyways because I'm running errands and I do not need the hair to be in my face so or you know just in the way so that's it's a con but then it's not a con um for me i think it's because i have a larger size head and the cap does fit snug but it does fit my head and um yeah i have a big head so if you have a big head it will fit but if you want to wear it like this i don't think it will work out so much unless you can finesse it like i feel like yeah it definitely can be finessed so you can wear it like you just have to move the hair around and make sure like nothing is showing so another thing is that you're not gonna have much coverage over here so i had to like lay down my edges so that i don't look crazy um so that is kind of a con for me because what if i don't have time to lay down my edges but um i mean it, it's not hard but it is a con for me because what if i really just literally want to throw it on and go so that is um that's pretty much the cons that i have for this one but overall i would definitely recommend it because the hair quality is really really nice and it's just a super simple throw on and go so I would definitely recommend it. And if you guys are interested, I will have both of the units that I'm showing you guys today listed in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next unit. Okay, Diva. So moving on to the next one, this is also the Cab Do BW and I have it in the color number 1B. So this is basically the same unit, but this one has like a little curl pattern slash wave pattern to it. 
So this is how it looks. The hair does feel synthetic. It does not feel so much like um like the first one did with the soft texture, but it does not look synthetic. So that is a good thing. So here is the inside of the cap construction and it has the same cap construction as the other one and it feels the same in everything. So this is how it looks straight onto my head. This one does provide you with more coverage so you won't have to worry about doing your edges. And this one falls at about 20 inches on me as well. And once again, I am 5'2 in case you want to use that for reference. And as far as shedding and tangling with this one, I did experience a little bit of shedding and a little bit of tangling. I am going to go in and apply some mousse so that the wave pattern can be a little bit more visible. So that is why I'm doing that. It's totally optional, but I feel like it looks a lot better. But overall, I think this one is very pretty and that is a really quick fix. So here is the other unit. So this is the same unit, but it's basically another um, style. And this is um, like their body wave version of it. I do feel like this is like a loose natural wave. It does have a pretty wave to it, but I feel like this looks more like a loose natural wave. But either way, it's a pretty wave. So um, let's just go ahead and talk about the pros and the cons. So the pros to this unit is that um, this one, it, and this one did come out after the other one came out because the other one came out quite a while ago. So that one came out first and it was not that much coverage. But here I could definitely see, um, and I'm even folding some of the hair down, but it's definitely a lot more coverage happening on this cap. So they did go ahead and improve that. So kudos to Vivica A. Fox for that because that is amazing when um you know you improve the unit so that is really good um so the pros for this one definitely off tops is that you know it does have more coverage in this area um the cap also it does seem like a little bit shorter i don't know if it's just me but it just seems like it's a little bit more shorter like this looks like one of the caps that I would actually um, wear and it looks like the same size I don't know it could be me it could just be my imagination or whatever but um, I don't have a problem with either cap like I will wear either one because the purpose of the hair is to just throw it on and go so with this one I don't really too much care for the texture before I put the mousse on it now after I put the mousse on it it looks really good and really natural but before that it was just kind of looking like I don't know like I wasn't really feeling it before I put on the mousse but now that I put on the mousse and kind of like define the waves and you can kind of like see them I feel like it looks a lot better so I mean that was a pro and a con I would definitely recommend for you to put mousse on it anyways if you have like a wavy synthetic unit because it will last longer so um I would just do that anyways but yeah so I really definitely love how it looks with the waves more defined this unit is nice like it has um it also it doesn't feel like as soft as the other one but it does have like that full density as well so that's one thing that they did do a good job on as well so yeah this unit is a go as well because it's just so nice and like i said like it's perfect for the purpose of it like or even if you just want to like go to like the store or you want to throw it on and go like basically yeah that's the same thing but anyways, you guys get the point. Like, if you want to throw it on and go. But I would definitely recommend it. I feel like it's cute once you add the mousse. Throw it on, go, and you're good. So definitely go ahead and check the description box below if you are interested in either of the units that I have showed in this video. But yeah, anyways, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy to follow. If you fabulously was it, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you fabulously would think of these units. Let me know if you've tried it already or if you're thinking about trying it. Or let me know if you think this is a good quick fix like if you want to just be on the go you want to go to the grocery store you want to go to the gas station whatever you're trying to do like i feel like this is perfect for it but let me know if you think this is a perfect quick fix but yeah divas be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit that notification bell girl because i do upload quite often and you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos but yeah divas thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you gorgeous divas in my next video Bye.